running for Ward 1 Council, and uh, I like help the city. That includes police, uh, management, bus, and, and uh, school. Uh, we don't want our children hurt. We gotta have jobs for the college. We gotta have jobs for high school people and people out of work. And, uh, we need better bus system. They want to dump people out what I hear on the street someplace. But what did they they use taxpayer money for wall bags. That's gonna sit empty. What if it rains, snows, gonna get hot? People people might have a stroke. People gonna get wet, cold. And uh, they took that money from the gov federal government and they need to use it. And they don't manage right. Look at it. they bought three sets of parking meters, raised the parking fines. They worked on A Street, Hospital Drive. I can't see no more. When, then they want to keep building housing. They ain't got the money for the sewer system. You know, I don't know what to tell them. You got to manage better. If this was Ford, Joe Markins, uh, Joe Markins wouldn't last. Joe Markins wouldn't last. If, 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 if Columbia handled the money like, I mean, if Joe Morgan handled it like a uh, city of Columbia, they'd be our business. And you mentioned uh, housing there, Bill, and that's actually my first question. Um, last week, the city council voted to approve two new student housing apartment complexes here in downtown, right here in the middle of the First Ward. Uh, do, you, do you think that they made the right call in approving those agreements? Well, where are they going to put it? They got to tear something down to rebuild. They already have sites picked out. Yeah, but that means they're going to tear, tear some that got to come down. What if they, uh, what if they pick uh, the M M Mike, the city manager's house? What if they pick that area? He wouldn't like it. Uh, we try to get them stopped down here by Bear Creek. No, no, they wouldn't hear it. They, they can be mean. They don't think about the people they put in their house. Mm. Uh, they don't stop to think. And it, Bill, you're kind of a newcomer to city politics. You've been involved with some community groups, but you've never run for city council no, before. No, I haven't. Uh, what made you want to do it this year? Well, we lost Alameda, and I didn't like what Fred Smith done. He will not return one phone call. I've called him several times about different things. Our new city mayor won't return a phone call. Anybody in the government has returned calls. Has McCastle, the people before her, uh, Harold Volkmer, Kenny Holslaw, uh, they all have returned a phone call. Might not be what I like. Uh, mayor Hyman said, hello, what can I do for you? He did return a call. And, uh, Alameda did return calls. That proved they care. And you got to have people that care. Right, and return calls, right? You got to, you got to. And uh, as you'd mentioned before, uh, when you were introducing yourself, you had said that, uh, you know, that you do, uh, you do care quite a bit about the condition of the city's bus system. And as you know, they're uh, getting, uh, getting ready to make some pretty big changes to the bus system come, uh, come this summer going to be Como Connect, a rerouting of uh, the way the transit system works. Uh, how could the city change the system to better benefit First Ward uh, residents? Well, they got to have buses run through. They got to have buses. Uh, uh, what i seen on the scale looked like a black and yellow was going around there. Uh, looked like a railroad track in somebody's house. Mm -hmm. But... Um, they got too many buses on the student running back to back every two or three minutes, bang, let four or five people out, let four or five people out. Now, if each bus was full, I wouldn't complain. But when you have less than 10 people getting off each bus, uh, you should stagger the buses more. Put those buses to better use. Right. And, uh, and they don't answer the phone right up at, uh, uh, at the wall bags. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you've mentioned earlier, uh, a, a big issue for you has been uh, jobs. Uh, 
What more can the city be doing to uh, make sure that folks, uh, folks have somewhere to work? Well, the simplest thing, what I do, and I want to do it, go to these places, see what's made out of the country. And then you look up, see where the headquarters is, and go talk to them. Homework left to Mexico, brick plant. There was a company up uh, Iowa. They could got this uh, hostess company over Boonville, but they didn't do it. That would put quite a few people to work. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to have people working. Now they want to dump a bunch of immigrants in, uh, in here. And that's gonna make that's gonna make a whole bunch worse. Well, I want my unemployment. I want my unemployment. I want my I want my relief. I want my food stamps. I want I want my health. It's gonna tear up the system. All right, Bill. Uh, I think that's everything we had for you. Uh, any closing remarks? Or yeah, if there's anything else you'd like to say in closing. Well, I just like to see a better club here. I like to see everybody do their job. I like to see better schools. Well, we do have good schools, but we got to keep them safe. We got to have people talking to the students. Uh, we got to have better police. They don't want to work with the uh, uh, residents, the people out here. Uh, city management managers don't manage right. Look, look at them. Look at the city. Uh, I could try to help get the people in each ward. Get the people in my war, and the other people get behind their people. And they could change the system. They could make a better Columbia, jobs, housing, and everything.